Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yesha, if you're new here. I wanted to make a video about signaling tokens, kind of what I've learned about them, and how I would use my six if I were applying right now. This is going to be specifically for DR and IR because I think that every specialty has a different number of signaling tokens they get for radiology at six. That will be between both IR and DR, so you have to think about how you want to use them, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so what I learned is you have to signal programs when you submit your application. So that means that by the time you're applying, you have to know where you want to signal. And that can be very, very challenging because a lot of times you want to interview and then you want to know, like, after my interview day, this is where I want to go, right? But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. You can signal a program and they cannot even grant you an interview. But I would say that I would hope, I think, that most places that you signal will give you an interview. Unless obviously you're going to like spend all of your signals on like MGH and Brigham and UCSF, then maybe that will not hold true. But if they're more like mid-tier or lower tier or other, I mean just like in general, like not all one like top 10 programs type thing, I think that you have a pretty good chance of getting an interview at every place that you signal. So how are you supposed, like how should you use your signaling tokens? Well, first of all, if you're doing IR and DR together, you have to decide are you really going for 100% IR or are you okay with a mix on your rank list? And let's just talk in general. You have to decide whether you want to signal all IR or all DR or a mix. And that will be up to you to decide how much you really want to go into IR versus you're okay to just also applying DR and you're okay with matching DR. And the reason I bring that up is because you can still do IR after DR and I think that that can give you a little bit of safety if you do signal both IR and DR. If you're only applying diagnostic radiology, then obviously all six are gonna to go to diagnostic radiology. And I think in general, it makes the most sense to kind of spread out your signaling tokens over a variety of competitiveness. So definitely signal at least one reach, I would say. Maybe leave it to one reach that you otherwise, that you would love to go to, but you maybe aren't like the perfect applicant for that, whether you're outside of the geographical area whether you just don't have the stats to go there, I think that's a really good opportunity to use your signaling token and show them that like, yes, I am very interested in your program and um, I'm enough so that I'm using one of my six tokens to, to tell you that. I would not use like three of them on reach programs, maybe two. So at least one, maybe two, but probably not three. I think I would choose the last four to be like solid, you know, mid programs that I would love to go to that I have a solid chance of getting an interview at, but I think this would really like solidify that for me. And six is a pretty big number, so I think that if you can get like six interviews out of using your six tokens, that's pretty good. And you could even like maybe know your top six programs right then and there. It requires a lot of work for you to figure out which six programs those are gonna be. But I do think that using two for those like top two reach-ish programs and then four for those like solid safety places that you really want to go and you really hope you get an interview and I think I'd make a really good resident there. I have good stats, I'm competitive. Those are the places that you want to use your signaling tokens. That's what I would do at least. Um, I would probably not signal a place that you are like not really interested in going to but it would be a safety i don't think that you need to signal a place like that and then also something to consider is the rank list i think that if you have signaled a place and all things being equal um if they're comparing you to another applicant who has the same stats as you but didn't signal i think they'd probably put you higher on a rank list now this is all just anecdote from me i represent nobody at this point like i'm not a program director i don't really talk to program directors about this stuff except for on twitter where i'm just like getting general information from people i don't know how program directors are going to use the signaling process so just to be clear about that i don't but if i were a program director and i like knew that a place wanted to be at my program so badly that they chose to signal me i would definitely rank them higher than someone who didn't do the same thing because I want to match people that want to be at my program, right? At the end of the day, that's what people want. Also, I would say that a signaling token is going to be more important at these mid and lower tier programs than they are at higher tier, obviously, because more people are going to signal higher tier programs, and those programs can generally get the people that they want at their program without a signaling token. 
So I think that using one signaling token for like a solid mid tier is going to mean more. And so you have to decide like, you know, how you want to weigh that and what you would like to do at the end of the day. But I really do think that signaling for like mid tier programs that you know you're going to want to go to is going to, I, I would do that. And then maybe two reaches. I think that's really what I have to say about signaling. Um, as far as IR and DR, I probably would not signal both IR and DR at the same program if it were me, uh, unless that's like the one place I really want to go to because I just think that that would be a waste. I would probably signal IR at that place and then ask for a DR interview because it's a little bit less competitive for DR than IR, at least historically that's been true. So that's what I would do. And DR usually has more spots and they interview more people, so there is more space. So I would signal the interventional radiology program and not the DR one. And um, please don't quote me on that. I don't know. This is what I would do if I were in your shoes. In general, though, two reaches, four solid, like, I would love to go there, but don't know if I'll get an interview type of programs. And don't forget, you still have your letters of interest. You still can you know, write emails to the program director telling them how much you love them and you want to go there. But know that those things are going to be all in the context of knowing that you did not signal that program. So I think those will matter less than they used to. And so if you really want to go somewhere, I try to use your signaling tokens. I don't even know if anyone ever wrote six letters of interest. That would be a lot of letters of interest. But in any case, um, use your six tokens wisely don't use them all at reaches um, spread them out and if you are trying to go to various geographical areas this can be a good way to break through those geographical barriers especially with the supplemental application which i'll make a separate video on but yeah i think those are my general pieces of advice please leave any questions you have down below i'll try to at least look into it and get back to you if i can but um yeah this is all new to everybody so i think everyone will be figuring it all out at the same time in any case i will see you all in my next video bye